Hi guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm very excited to have every single one of you here. Today I am here to share with you our monthly collab. The name of this collab is May I Come Over for Brunch? And it is hosted by none other than the infamous Roy over at Recipes with Roy. So big thanks to Roy for hosting this collab. Guys, it is a lot of work to keep a collab together and running smoothly. And Roy does a fantastic job. So once again, big thanks to Roy. I will link his channel as well as all of the other fantastic channels down in the description box. So make sure you go check them out and all of their really, really fun recipes. You will not be disappointed. All right, so... Sorry, my hair. It's hot. Ugh. It's always hot in here. I do everything I can to get everything situated before I start recording, but it doesn't always work out. So you get to watch Chaos Jen fidget with her hair and try and, like, not sweat to death while she's recording. So, yeah. I do have a couple things that I want to share with you before I get started. Real quick um, about my recipe. This is not, I repeat, not a Weight Watchers friendly recipe. I did start putting it into the recipe builder, but once it got to 10 points for one little sandwich, I kind of changed my mind. So, not Weight Watchers friendly. Definitely something, I mean, for 10 points, you can budget it into your day if you want to. Uh, I do like this recipe, but I don't know that I would necessarily um, eat it on a regular basis. It's it's good, but not quite worth it for me. But it is one of my family's favorite. Uh, I am making ham and Swiss cheese sliders. They're They're really good. I'm excited for you guys to see how to make them. It is definitely a recipe that can be Weight Watcher-fied, if that's the right word. It can be made weight loss friendly. There you go. <laughs> um, but I just honestly didn't feel like doing it this time. Then to go with the ham and cheese sliders, I'm making a really, really easy fruit salad. And then I'm going to be using a new product. In fact, here it is here. It is Javi Coffee Concentrate to make my drink. I mean, brunch. I mean, you can have coffee all day long. You guys know how I am. So I just thought coffee, fruit salad, and some ham and cheese sliders would be the perfect brunch. So let me tell you a little bit about this product. Um, I was contacted by this company to see if I would like to review their product on my channel. Uh, I do have a discount code for you right here. And there will also be a link down in the description down at the bottom there that you can use to get 20% off of your first order. So what this is basically super duper powered coffee. You can add one to two teaspoons to about eight ounces of water, depending on how strong you like your coffee and you're set. You can do iced coffee you can do hot coffee. I was looking through the book that they sent me and there are tons of recipes in here. Let me just show you a couple of them because, yeah, they look fantastic. I can't wait to give most of them a try. So some of the recipes that they have, and here it is right here. It's very small print, so it's going to be hard for you to see on here, but let's see. Classic iced Americano, iced mocha frappuccino, protein iced coffee, which I didn't think about that. We could make a profit with it. Like when you do a shot of espresso and then you pour a protein shake over it, you could just use the concentrate instead. That's a great idea, great idea. Let's see, cafe style hot coffee, cinnamon nutmeg latte, yum. And then hot cocoa coffee, you can't go wrong with that. Um, Ginger beer brew, ooh. White Russian coffee, caramel oat milk latte, coffee Oreo milkshake, mm, I love that. I wonder if I can make ice cream like that with my Ninja Creamy. My wheels are turning. And then there's also a recipe for a keto iced coffee. So it's more than just a coffee concentrate, guys. You can make all kinds of coffee flavored drinks with this. So if you are a coffee fan, I highly suggest you click on the link below, go check out what they have to offer and save yourself 20% on your first order. What could possibly go wrong? 
If you get anything, don't let me know because you know I'm nosy and I want to see what you got. And then the second product that I have to review is right here in this black box. Yes, I know it's a lot of product reviews in this video, but they're both perfect for brunch. So this is, yes, be careful, Chaos Jen has a knife. This is a Nakano knife. Nakano is the name of the company. We'll go ahead and open it here. It does come protected, but get ready. Here we go. Look at that. I have already used this. You guys will see it in my video. But this knife here was sent to me free for my review on my channel. So, yep, you're going to get a review. And I'm going to tell you right now, I loved it. It's amazing. Amazing. Wait till you see how it cuts the bread. Wait. All right. So, this is called, I have to get my paper here because I can't remember these words. The Santoco knife, it is a $75 value. Like I said, sent free to me for review. I don't think I've ever owned a knife set that costs more than $75. I'm kind of, I'm a low budget person when it comes to my knives, but this kind of is making me rethink that. I might want to invest in some more pricey knives if they're all gonna be as good as this one was. So this is a Santoco knife, $75 value. I will have a link down below that you can go to to check out all of their other knives. Yeah, there's all, I, I don't know enough about knives to know what's good and what isn't, but I know that this knife was fantastic for what I wanted to use it for today. Um, so I will definitely be going over to their site to check out their other knives and get myself educated on all the different types that are out there and what they can do. If you use the link down below, or I have a code, which I'll put right here. You can get 20% off of your entire order. And once again, if you guys decide to purchase anything, let me know. And with this stuff, with the knives, let me know why. Because like I said, I'm not very well versed in knife usage and knife techniques and all that kind of fancy stuff. So if you get a knife for a specific reason, let me know why and what you're going to use it for. And maybe I need to get it too. All right, guys. That is enough product review and chit chat for now. Let's head to the kitchen and get started on our food. See you there. Okay. All right. So here we have a 9 by 13 baking dish. I've lined it with foil. And then I coated this with baking spray. We're going to go ahead and pull out our dinner rolls. These are the sweet Hawaiian rolls. We've got 12 sweet rolls here. I am going to pull out the knife I mentioned to you. Again, these are Nakano knives. And now we have a well-greased brochure. There's what that looks like on the inside. It says, don't put your knife in the dishwasher as it will damage the knife. Basically, hand wash and avoid marble and glass cutting boards. Fair enough. Go ahead and take the cover off. Oh, boy. Doesn't that look nice? It's got a nice weight to it, too. So let me go ahead and get this washed, and then we'll be right back to slice the bread. Okay, so we've got our dinner rolls, and I'm going to cut them and break them in half, apparently, because that's how they rolled. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, my. That's nice. I'm barely even pushing, and it's going right through the bread. Wowzers. So we've got top and bottom. I'm gonna put the bottom in my baking dish. I'm gonna cut the other side here really quick. It didn't even smash my bread, even a little bit. Woo! Look at that, did not scratch it or scrunch it up at all. Very cool. Okay, so then we're gonna get our 18 slices of ham. We're gonna lay half of them down on top of the bottom layer of bread. Then we're gonna take all 12 slices of our Swiss cheese and lay these across the first layer of ham. They said this is really easy. Then we'll lay the rest of the ham across the top of this. Then we're going to put the tops back on the rolls. And we're gonna get started with our butter mixture. So here I have one stick of butter. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and get it melted and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so here is our melted butter. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir to make sure it's all melted. And then we're gonna add a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm sure I added a few extra syllables there for ya. And one tablespoon of regular yellow mustard. And then the recipe called for minced onion and salt and pepper, but I've got some of this Trader Joe's Italian style sofrito seasoning I thought I would use. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And it says that it has dried minced onion, tomato flakes, it's got sea salt, it's got some dried minced garlic, crushed chili peppers, parsley flakes, crushed red peppers, dried rosemary and sage leaves. So I'm gonna do a decent amount of this. I don't know. Let's see, I'm probably gonna put about that much in there. I guess that's about a tablespoon. We'll put that in there and mix it up really good. All right, and then we're just gonna pour this over the top of our sandwiches. That covers more than I thought it would. Let me get this out though. I'm going to brush this just a little bit to make sure we get the seasoning all over and not just in the crevices of one roll. All right, now the instructions say to cover this with a layer of aluminum foil. We're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. So once we're done with that, I will be back and we'll finish making our sandwiches. Now, like I said, this is a super easy, simple fruit salad. You can add whatever you want. Sometimes we put peaches in it. Sometimes we cut up apples. Just kind of depends what we're in the mood for. But these mandarin oranges are a family favorite, so it is guaranteed to have tons of those in there. Okay. All right. So here is our simple, simple fruit salad. I'm going to get this in the fridge, and then I think I'm going to check out that coffee that I told you about in the intro. So, be right back. Okay, so here is the box that it came in. It says Javi, and then on top it says the coffee you crave is a pour away. Y'all know I love my coffee. Let's see. Oh, look. It says drop it like it's hot slash cold. Okay, so I've got eight ounces of cold water in here. This would be really convenient to take to work. We're going to add two teaspoons of the coffee concentrate and this is a half a teaspoon so you see me add four there's one that's really thick give this a good stir i'm going to taste this without the creamer at first oh my that tastes pretty good it's got a good flavor to it then I'm going to add some of my sugar-free creamer. This is the Italian sweet cream. Give this a good stir. Mmm, that is very, very, very good. I like strong coffee, guys, and this is definitely strong. It says each bottle comes with 30 servings, and this is a, I never say it right, 100% Arabica artisan roasted coffee very good now if you don't like your coffee super strong it says you can add less but yeah 
definitely happy to have this coffee for brunch. All right, so we just pulled these out of the oven. I did cook them for 20 minutes. Mm, these smell really good, really good. They're well toasted on the top. You see all the juice down at the bottom? You can see it more on this side, the butter and stuff. Yeah, yeah there you go. So what I'm gonna do is give these a good coat on top with the spray butter. Just in case they weren't buttery enough. Then I'm going to sprinkle them with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I don't want to go too crazy with this, so I'm just going to try and put it in my hand and sprinkle it over the top. And then I have some partially freeze-dried chopped parsley that I'm going to sprinkle over the top as well. And again, just a small amount, just enough to add a little bit of flavor. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this dished up here. All right, so there we go. Here's what the inside looks like. Cheese is melted, ham is toasted. We'll get this on a plate. Okay. All right, guys, so here is my final meal. I've got my ham and cheese slider, my fruit salad, and my Javi coffee. That's everything I have for you today. Once again, if you are interested in checking out the Nakano knives or the Javi coffee, make sure you click the link down below and you'll save 20% off of your orders. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thanks again to Roy for hosting this collab. His channel is also linked down below, as well as the other fantastic participants. Make sure you go show them all some love. And until next time, guys, drink your coffee, eat your fruit and your sliders, and keep smiling. Bye, guys.